Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Knife Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. You can watch us on TV. Yes, so check it out right there. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. All we do is bring you Vegas. And you're watching this video, so you must be interested in Vegas, right? That's all that we do. This video right here, we're going to share with you our favorite places to grab a cocktail. Not one of these, not a beer, but a cocktail, Vegas style. Starting with age before beauty, first on the list is the iconic Dive Bar Atomic Liquors. This is located just off of East Fremont Street, past the Container Park. It's also walkable from Fremont Street Experience. Inside, you're gonna find a typical dimly lit dive bar. And outside, there's a seating area right along the street. There's also a large outdoor patio. They also have a food menu. Now, this is the oldest freestanding bar in Las Vegas and got its name from being a party spot to watch the testing of atomic bombs in the desert. This is also where many celebrities used to hang out back in the day. You'd have the Rat Pack here. Barbara Streisand has her own bar stool. This is also the spot that Anthony Bourdain would hit up all the time in Vegas. If you recall the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, written by Hunter S. Thompson, based on his life, this movie featured Atomic Liquors, a place that he frequented, and the Mint 400 was there all the time. They would celebrate the Mint 400 every single March, and they keep a bottle of Old Pro on hand and have a special drink to pay homage, the Hunter S. Mash. There's so much history in this spot, it's definitely worth a Google before you come to Vegas. Number two on our list is another oldie. This is the Sand Dollar. This is the one located near the Strip in Spring Mountain. This iconic dive bar has been around since 1976 and is known for their free live music and tons of famous musicians that love to drop in and just jam. They're also known for their over-the-top Halloween and Christmas decorations and the fun-themed craft cocktails that accompany them. They also serve up some really delicious pizza. Now for the next Sand Dollar. Now this is the second location that recently opened inside of the plaza. They've got a great happy hour along with specials for hotel guests. The downtown location also has free live music and gets very festive at Christmas. While both locations are a great place for music and cocktails, they are uniquely different from one another and we certainly recommend checking them both out. Now staying downtown at the plaza, you're gonna find the Carousel Bar. This bar cannot be missed. It's located right under those iconic lights in the valet area. A seat at this bar provides some great views to people watch as well as gamble. And you know what? This is the only outdoor video poker in the entire state of Nevada. 
And of course, there's a wide variety of cocktails along with everything else. Next up on the list, and that is a pun, is the bar with the best view in Vegas. This is Liftoff. This is located at the very popular Area 15. This is gonna provide a really exhilarating way to enjoy a cocktail. While you can just stay at ground level, have your drink, the true experience is to grab your drink and get ready for liftoff. Now remember, Anything loose is going to go into a free locker. That's right, you heard me, a free locker. One of the few free things you're going to find in Vegas. And your phone is going to have to go in a secure lanyard around your neck. You also need to secure footwear. You can't have any slippers or flip-flops, anything that may fall off. You can't drink your drink while moving up or down for safety reasons, but you can enjoy it during the 360 rotation at, get this, 130 feet in the air. Now this is going to move slowly enough that even people who have a fear of heights can enjoy the ride. Liftoff is also open during the day and at night so you can go twice and get both views. Next up is Golden Tiki. Now this is gonna be located in Chinatown. Great food, great atmosphere. This is a quick trip from the Strip. You like that? <laughs> this is located in a very unassuming strip mall. You wouldn't even know that this existed if you were just walking by. Once inside, you're gonna see a huge assortment of lights, random items everywhere, which really keeps your eyes busy and your brain stimulated. Now, we can't show you the bathroom because that's gonna get this video taken down, but the entire place is worth walking around. They're known for their classic tiki drinks that are often served on fire along with their Dole Whips. They do have a limited food menu, but let's be real. You're not going here for the food. You're going for the drinks and the atmosphere. They have some gambling at the bar, so they are open 24 seven. They also typically have a DJ or live music. They have different themed parties throughout the week. So check out their social media, especially on Instagram. This place is small and very popular, so it's best to go early or make a reservation to ensure seating. We recommend grabbing a bite to eat at one of the many nearby restaurants before or after. Let's head on back downtown to the Container Park. This is one of our favorite spots in downtown.
and we're gonna hit up Oak and Ivy. The actual bar itself does have limited seating, but they have an awesome patio area right outside. This is a great spot to sit outside, enjoy the atmosphere of the container park, listen to some live music. Oak and Ivy was actually number two on Yelp's list for whiskey bars just a few years ago. This continues to be a local hotspot for craft cocktails. Either before or after, check out the rest of the container park. It's a really cool spot downtown. And don't forget the Mantis once that sun sets. Now, if you've watched any of our Arts District videos, you may recall 18 Bin. We're gonna add that to this list because it's a great place for craft beer, wine, or cocktails. They have an awesome patio area with live music, a fun artsy indoor area as well. They have a full menu of elevated bar food, including vegan dishes as well. Now let's head to the Strip, where we're gonna check out the coolest bar around. I know, I'm a nerd. This is Ice Bar. There are two other locations of Minus Five. You can find one at Mandalay Bay. That's gonna be up in the shops at Mandalay Bay area. And there's another one in the Grand Canal shops in the Venetian. Our favorite location is gonna be the one at the Link Promenade. And that's just because we really enjoy that area. If you watch our channel, you know we spend a lot of time in the promenade area. So bundle up and get ready to chill. Again, I just can't help it, I'm such a nerd. All of the ice bars are 100% ice. So grab a drink out of a glass, of course, made of ice, and check out all of the cool, uniquely Vegas ice sculptures. The last on our list is really a two for one. This is gonna be the Cabinet of Curiosities and the Lock Speakeasy. Now they're both located in the downstairs area of Horseshoe. If you've ever been to the pool, you would have walked through this area. The Cabinet of Curiosities is a funky little bar where you can lounge, check out the unique furniture, sip your drink and explore the entire area. They have so many little knickknacks or oddities, if you will, locked in cabinets. That's why Cabinet of Curiosities and they have a seasonal menu of cocktails. Now, you don't need a reservation for this spot. However, reservations are required for the lock speakeasy. Once you have a reservation, you're gonna pick up the phone, which is right outside of the safe door, they're gonna tell you, you're gonna have to solve a puzzle to get into the actual speakeasy. There are gonna be a bunch of safes in there that all have clues in them that are gonna help you solve the code to enter the speakeasy. One code is gonna make you crawl through a little tunnel. The other, you can just walk through a door disguised as a painting.
The lock is dimly lit. It's a prohibition style speakeasy with an entirely different menu of cocktails from the cabinet of curiosities, but you'll still see a lot of oddities throughout. If there's nothing on the menu that jumps out to you, guess what? There's a secret menu, because this is Vegas and you can get whatever you want, whenever you want it, right? So you just tell them like, how are you feeling? I'm feeling tired, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm a Virgo, whatever it is, and they'll make a cocktail just for you. All right guys, that's a wrap on this one. And this list is really in no particular order. These are just 10 spots that based on our experience, we wanted to share with you guys. And as always, we want to hear from you guys. Have you been to any of these spots on our list? What are your favorite places for cocktails here in town? Are there other places that we should check out? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, subscribe if you haven't. All we do is bring you Vegas, and that's why you watch this video, right? Check us out on social media. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook, we're Ninth Island Connection, we're everywhere. We also go live every single Wednesday between noon and 1 p.m. Pacific or Vegas time, where we bring you an update on what to expect that upcoming weekend. And again, we appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching this one, and we'll see you next time. four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.